You guys, I have been dying to do a video with this person, so without any further delay, let me just bring her in. It's Chetna McCon! Oh my god! <laughs> you all know Chetna McCon from The Great British Bake Off, or in America known as The Great British Baking Show. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and also her YouTube channel, Food with Chetna, her books, The Cardamom Trail, and Chai Chat and Chutney. Thank you so much for having me to your lovely home today. I'm just glad that you could finally come to my kitchen and we can cook together. I am so thrilled. And what are we going to be cooking today? Egg chops, which you can easily call them uh, Indian scotch eggs. Oh yeah, perfect. Without the meat, but with lots of delicious spices. I'm so excited, let's go make it. Let's go make it. All right. So I've boiled these potatoes for 10, 15 minutes, but it depends on the size of your potatoes, the type of potato. So I'm using uh, Marfona today. So I always boil the potatoes with the skin on um, because if I boil it without the skin, sometimes it could um, just disintegrate while boiling. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Has oh. it disintegrated? Yeah, yeah. Say, supposing for five minutes I left the room and that's when the potatoes decided yeah. to <laughs> All right, so skin's on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You start with a hot pan and add one tablespoon of sunflower oil. So I like to use sunflower oil um, because it's just got no flavor to it. So it's perfect um, with all the spices. Plus my mom uses it, so. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Mother knows best. Yes. <laughs> and a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. And just let them sizzle. I, I don't like to use lots of oil, just enough to cook it. Then goes in one onion, which uh, I have tried to finely chop, but you can roughly chop it. So just three, four minutes so that um, it starts to get um, cooking and just when it starts to get a bit of color is the time we'll add our ginger and garlic. Two to three cloves of garlic and a centimeter or so of ginger and you can finely chop it but I like to grate it and we let it cook so it, you know, it's not raw anymore. Just a minute would be fine. It's starting to smell really good. So this is the point in the recipe where I go, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Just because those basic things, the ginger, the garlic, the onion. Yes, and it just smells so inviting. Half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter or so teaspoon of uh, red chili powder, and a teaspoon of garam masala. At this stage, you can add some fresh green chili. I've got around four potatoes which I've boiled. You can grate them or chop them, but I would suggest don't waste time on any of those things and just squash them. All we want is the flavors of the spices, the onions, garlic, to combine with the potatoes. Take it off the heat and let it cool down. And that's ready. Uh, and maybe Katie, it's time for you to come on this side of the camera <laughs> and join me. All right, Help I'll join me. <laughs> Here I've got some boiled eggs. I've boiled them for 10 to 12 minutes, so they're hard boiled eggs. I'll okay. take um, like a handful of the potato mix, cover it all up. So I'll cover one side first, then okay. take some more, and um, if there is a lot somewhere, just take it off. So you want it to be even yes. all the way around? Yes. Okay. And then just keep pressing it while you're doing it, so then it's all intact. That's it. So if you now start pressing it and move, keep moving it, uh -huh. the key is to keep moving it. Okay. And once you've covered it all, then you can see that some bits will be bigger. So yeah. you can maybe feel that this has got a lot more okay. uh, potato than needed. I see. You just keep working with it until it's the way you want it. Exactly. Yeah. This is so fun. I love recipes in which you really have to like handle your food. Yes. Handle yes. it. And now you can see it's really tight and you can see no cracks um, anywhere. That means it's really compact. So it will, it's ready to be dipped in some egg. So roll it really well in the egg with one hand and then place it into a bowl of breadcrumbs. And with the other hand, roll it around in the breadcrumbs and cover it completely. And that is ready for deep frying. Do you have a technique for knowing when the oil's ready? 
that is one of the questions that I get asked all the time. If you want to check if it's hot enough, then just throw in a little piece of bread. Throw this in and yes, it is done. It's sizzling straight away. It's no, you know, no hemming faffing and around. Yeah, exactly. no faffing around. No faffing around. <laughs> so right, so I'm going to fry two at a time because there's enough oil. It's ready to come out. The first one is really nice and big fat one. <laughs> the one you make it. It's like a... I like the fat in. <laughs> Here they are. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited to eat this right now. Let's eat it. Okay, let's, let's just eat. eat. Oh my gosh. Chutna is so good. <laughs> They are really good if I say so much. They're really good. <laughs> They're like the perfect amount of crispiness. They're really crunchy, but mm -hmm. just the outside is crunchy and then you get the soft yes. spiced up potatoes. Mm. And of course the egg has got its own flavor. Mm. It is really, really easy. And I think you could make them where you've shaped them and leave it in the fridge. So if you're making mm. it for guests, and then fry them fresh. Yeah, it's um, perfect. They are absolutely delicious. Even when they've cooled down to room temperature, they're fine. So mm. next time you have a party or friends over or for yourself for the weekend. Yeah, um, treat yourself. Yes, exactly. But if you make them and invite people over, make sure to invite us. Okay. Please do. Please. And you can make this very recipe from Chetna's newest book out. You have a new book coming out next year, don't you too? <laughs> But we'll get to that later. Oh, and also, go check out her YouTube channel, Food with Chetna. I'm linking to it here. It's amazing. She does so many great things. If you haven't seen it already, which you probably have, go check it out. Yes, please come over to the channel. I've got lots of Indian food, bakes and cakes and um, everyday Indian curries, I guess. And last but not least, Chetna, tell these fine folks what not to forget. Keep it quirky! Yeah, do it! <laughs>